Hey everyone, how's it going? Professor David Stuckler here. Tremendously excited to share this session with you today on my three best tips to write a research paper faster. And one of the things I see so commonly is students banging their head against the wall, feeling frustrated, going in circles, and losing so much time writing their papers. And I hate it because at universities, I've taught at Harvard, Cambridge, Oxford, now Bocconi, and Milan, and we don't teach any writing training. Sometimes the library has some offerings from people who haven't even done PhDs. You guys need proper writing training. It's probably one of the most important skills you're gonna get as a graduate student that's gonna carry with you for the rest of your life to be able to communicate clearly, synthesize evidence, and communicate it to others rapidly. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what you need to do to write your paper, and you're gonna wonder why you haven't done this before because it's gonna save you so much time. First tip, use our two step method for writing a research paper. And by two step, I really mean you need to do one thing first and a second thing next. You need to have the research done. You need to know what you wanna say. You need to have your arguments lined up before you start writing. Writing is simply a, a bit like cooking, right? When you wanna cook, to focus on cooking well, you need to have your onions chopped, your vegetables at the side, your olive oil ready. And only that way can you really focus on getting the cooking right. You don't wanna be scrambling around the kitchen trying to put everything together at once because odds are you're just not gonna get anything done right, you're gonna feel stressed. So what you need to do is make sure before you ever write that you have that clarity about what you wanna say, that your research is actually done. You don't do the research by writing. You do the research first, you follow our two-step method, and then you start putting it on paper. That brings me to my second key point. When you write your research paper, you don't wanna start with the hard part first. That's just a recipe for getting stuck and banging your head against the wall. You wanna start with the easy part first to get you in a good flow and a good rhythm, get you feeling confident and get things moving. The easy part is a bit counterintuitive. It's often not where grads start when they're writing their papers, but you wanna start with the methods. Start with the methods because that's something you should have already done if you followed our two-step approach. And it, you're simply going to outline what you did. If you, you've done a literature review, you're gonna outline how did you search for papers, how did you evaluate them, what thematic analysis did you do, um, whatever approach you took. You know what approach you took. If you didn't take an approach and you did some hodgepodge of, well, I just kind of put some stuff together, well, your writing's difficult because the original sin traces back to your very messy approach. So if you're trying to convey a messy approach, you're gonna have a very messy paper that doesn't make sense. So oftentimes I see some of the challenges with writing trace to problems in the underlying steps. So if your methods are good, start with the methods uh, and just explain what you did. And for most, the vast majority of people writing papers, that comes quite naturally. Now, we're also gonna give you a way, if it doesn't come naturally, for you to articulate your ideas and main points so that they are very clear for others to see. So start with the methods and write the paper from the inside out, going methods, results, conclusion, save that hard part for last, the introduction, that's kind of the monster of the paper, it's so hard to write. Uh, we've got a simple method to help you do it, but save that for last. The third tip you really need to know to write effectively and write fast is you need to use our peer system. So our peer system stands for point, evidence, explain, repeat. And when you know what you wanna say, you need to ensure that every paragraph follows this peer system. Each paragraph is gonna make one point, and that point is gonna then be backed up by examples and evidence. And that's really the meat of your paper. You should be able in your results to have, if you've got certain themes or main elements, main ideas you wanna bring out in your results section, you should have a point, one point only, backed up by the evidence and examples from your analysis to make it clear. Followed by sometimes peers called a hamburger model because you have a point sandwiched by a linking or a repeating point at the bottom. It's kind of like the bun of the bread to help you transition to the next point. So your paper is gonna be a structure in which you're taking the reader by the hand, point by point, leading them to the logical confusions where you wanna drive them. Again, to reiterate, if you have not done the research yet, you're just not ready to write a research paper because how are you going to take somebody, invite them into your car, and drive them to, to the city over if, if you don't have a map. You need to know where you're taking your reader and have clarity about that. So before you even start, use our, our peer system after you've written your methods to go point by point through the paper, through to the very end. I've actually got another little tip I wanna tuck in here related to this first two-step point. And that is before you start writing, make sure you have what we call a result set. 
And that result set is your tables and figures done. Because these are really the meat of your research. This is gonna be the story of your paper. And you wanna make sure that at a glance, if you were gonna take your, your, your print out of your tables and figures, you could hand it to a colleague and they could say, ah, I understand exactly what's happening here. Ah, there's a nice story there. You want that level of clarity. And if you have that level of clarity in your results, then it's gonna be so much easier to write up your results section just after your method section. So uh, take the time and energy to, to make sure that you have a well-crafted result set. Maybe use that opportunity to get feedback from your colleagues so you don't have to rewrite the paper. There's nothing more annoying than having your tables and figures, write up the paper, get comments, have to take a table out, figure out, change it up again, the order changes, have to rewrite your results again. That's just a recipe for endless frustration.